Today we're talking about the new stuff in SF Symbols 2 that was just announced at WWDC. Now, SF Symbols has grown to over 2,400 symbols. They added 750 new ones. They added multicolored symbols. So we're going to talk all about that. And then I'm going to show you how to use the multicolored symbols in Xcode. Before we dive into that, got to thank today's sponsor, and that is Squarespace. I believe Squarespace is a great place for iOS developers to get their portfolio up and running pretty quickly. So check them out at squarespace.com slash Sean Allen. So first we'll start with the overview, then we'll dive into the SF Symbols 2 app, and then we'll dive into Xcode. But here we are at the overview, uh, Apple's developer site, talking about SF Symbols 2. By the way, if you're not familiar with uh, SF Symbols, real quick, again, over 2,400 configurable symbols. A little taste there, we'll dive into that. But it's basically a way, you know, built-in Apple icons that you can use, multicolored, monochrome, dynamic type, bold text, all that stuff. So it's a really great built-in set of icons, and it keeps growing every year. This is only the second year it's been out um but, you know but you can kind of imagine they're going to add a bunch uh every year so like i said this year they added 750 new symbols we'll dive into that while we're here if you're curious how to download the sf symbols app i'll link to this in the description but here you can download the sf symbols 2 beta uh, or the actual sf symbols 1.1 which is you know an official uh release and while you're at it, uh, read the human interface guidelines on how to make the most out of SF symbols, right? Don't just willy nilly put them in there. That'll help you out. But back to what's new. Like I said, a, a bunch, almost a thousand new symbols. And, and I bet this is going to grow every year. Multicolored symbols. We'll show you that. You, you saw that in the intro and in the thumbnail, probably. Uh, refined optical alignment. This is a big one. I'll show you a screenshot here. You know, uh, the actual size of the icon might not line up, but you can see it's going to be smart enough to line up like all the folders, regardless of any extra little, you know, tidbits on the icon. Uh, improve localization, so you're going to get some right to left uh, on some of these. So that's the overview. Uh, let's actually dive into the app, which I already have downloaded, but you can see where you can download it. So here's what it looks like. And if you just have all clicked like I do in the upper left, uh, you're just going to get 2400 icons that you can scroll through. That's one way to look at it, but obviously we have categories over here on the left. You can see things like nature, you know, keyboard stuff, uh, communication, devices. This is new. They got a lot more devices this year. Uh, or you can see what's new. So if you want to see all the new icons that were added, here you go. You can scroll down. Uh, you can see a bunch. Uh, the other big thing here is multicolor. So not every single icon has a multicolor option. Uh, only about 150 of them do. But again, I imagine this is going to grow uh, over time. So multicolor, they don't look very colorful. <laughs> but if you hit this color wheel up here in the upper right, that'll show the multicolor. And real quick, mine are like tinted red. That's not the normal color. They base that off your system's uh, accessory color. So, you know, real quick, if you go down here to system preferences, general, uh, your accent color, I'm sorry, not accessory color. But, you know, if I click pink, okay, now you see they all turn pink. Green, there they go, they all turn green. So that's why those are red because my accent or accent color is red but if you did blue you can see they're all blue so hopefully that clears up any any confusion there but here this is really cool again multi-colored icons especially in the weather app like look at that that looks that looks awesome uh so these are going to come very much in handy and like i said i imagine this list is going to just continue to grow and grow and while we're here on the app uh like i said there's a whole bunch of different categories but if you know you're creating an app for example i'm creating a, a grocery app or maybe you're creating a gaming app and you want to build a, your own collection of SF symbols that you're going to use so it's easy to find. So you see this collections, if you hit this little plus button down here in the lower left, new collection, uh, let's scroll up here, let's call it gaming. And then I can, here you can also search for this, which is uh, very helpful here, right? I can search for controller. There you go, there's all my controllers. I can search for, you know, D-pad. And you see we get all the D-pad stuff. If I search for joy, stick you can see the joystick so i can like put all these into my gaming collection that way when i'm looking for my sf symbols all right i just got my, my gaming collection there good to go so that's an improvement this year in the sf symbols 2 app so now let's talk about how to actually use this uh in xcode so let's go to multicolor because i want to show off how to use multicolors whoops it's still searching for a joystick and multicolored we don't want that so if i just go to multicolor here these are all the multicolored apps let's pick a, a colorful one to show because even if it is multicolored, it has a monochrome option. So you don't have to use the multicolor if you like the symbol. So let's use this weather one right here, cloud, sun, rain, fill. So if you do, well, I'll show you here. If you do edit, uh, you see copy name. So that's command shift C. So we'll do command shift 
sorry, I got to go around my mic, C, that will just copy the name because the way SF symbols work in Xcode is it's a string. So rather than just like typing out this string, cloud.sun.rain.fill and hoping you don't make a typo, just do command shift C, copy the name and you'll see we can paste it into Xcode. So let's go into the Xcode 12 beta here. And what I have here is just a brand new Swift UI project. I haven't changed a thing. This is what you see when you do file new projects with UI, done. So what we are gonna change here is we're gonna get rid of this text, right? We're gonna replace this with our uh, SF symbol. So we can do image system name, and this is where the string comes in. So remember, I, I already copied it. So I just do command V to paste it. Uh, well, I gotta put it in quotes, I guess, uh, to make it a string. Uh, but you can see the copy and paste is nice rather than just typing it. And now you can see here, let's zoom in a bit here. We got this very tiny monochrome cr uh, cloud, sun, rain type thing. So uh, if we don't want monochrome, well, if you want monochrome, you just leave it at that. If you want the color, you have to do dot render, uh, rendering mode dot original, and then now you'll see, now we got the multicolored. Let me zoom out a bit here. Um, but you'll see uh, the cloud is white on a white background. Uh, another real quick thing about previews in Xcode 12 is you can change the environment. So if I click on that icon, let's make this dark mode just so we can see it. Uh, who uses light mode nowadays anyway? So now you can see our uh, SF symbol, nice multicolored, looking good. It's looking a little bit small. So again, SF symbols are just a font, right? So we can do uh, font, and then pass in dot large title to make it bigger. And then now you see our SF symbol is larger. So as you can see, the main thing you need to know is you need an image with a system name. You copy and paste that string in there, and then you can do rendering mode original to get the multicolored if you want it. And then you can adjust it just like any other font, you know, large, small, all that good stuff. Now, if you're here learning about SF symbols, that means you're an iOS developer trying to make great apps. And just like any other iOS developer, eventually you're gonna be looking for your next job or your next contract. And having an amazing looking portfolio is a great way to land that next job. And that's where today's sponsor comes in, Squarespace. Now, as I've said many times, I truly believe Squarespace is a great tool for iOS developers. Cause again, we're not, we're not web developers. Maintaining your own website, all the different browsers, all the different screen sizes, media queries, like it's a pain to like upkeep on your own. And like I said, we're iOS developers. We want to build apps. We don't want to deal with any of that. And that's where Squarespace comes in. It handles all that for you, all the different screen sizes, responsiveness, uh, handles all the SEO, the analytics. It just does all that for you. It lets us get back to like we just wanna build apps, right? I don't wanna maintain a website, I wanna build apps. And Squarespace helps you do that with a ton of beautiful themes. Like they have great designers. Your site's gonna look great. So when you're ready to build this portfolio, head over to squarespace.com to start your free trial today. And when you're ready to actually launch it, go to squarespace.com slash Sean Allen to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So that wraps it up on what's new in SF Symbols 2. I'm pretty pumped about the multicolored ones and just getting 750 new ones. Like. And again, I always kind of like look to the future. Like I imagine a day where there's 10,000 SF symbols, anything you could possibly want when it comes to iconography will be there. And that's awesome. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.